Welcome back everyone to episode 4 of the inventory system tutorial series and unlike the previous video this one is gonna be super short. All we gotta do is create a tooltip for uh, our items so once we hover over them we can actually see what those are. So to do that first we need to create a new widget so let's create in our UI folder user interface widget blueprint and I'm gonna call this UI item tooltip. And inside of here, let's add a border. Whoops, wrong search. This one right here. So we need a border. Now let's replace the canvas panel with the child to have a full screen border. And just to make things a little bit interesting, let's change the color a little bit. Let's add a vertical box to this. Make sure this is set to fill so it fills the entire thing. And also I want to add a text field to this. Now for the text, let's make sure this is fill, align this to the middle and also vertical alignment to the center. For the background, uh, for the text color, let's make this black to make it more visible. And I'm going to rename this to, um, let's see, item amount text for the top. Then I'm going to duplicate this, rename this to item name text and the last one for me is going to be item description text. If you like, of course, you can add more things to this widget, like an icon perhaps, or whatever other data you want to add to this. Um, and it's going to display just fine, but for me, only these values will exist for now. So I'm going to select the first one and let's change uh, the content of the text. Let's create a binding for this. And in order to display this, what I want to do is add some variables. The first one is going to be the item data. Uh, if you like, you can pass along the uh, the whole item, but I'm going to only pass the S inventory structure for this. Make this instance editable and exposed on spawn. I'm going to pass this along because I don't need to, I don't want to get the whole information from the database if I already have the item data variable inside of my player uh, item slot uh, widget. And over here we also need another variable and this is the amount of the item. So this is the integer as well, instance editable and exposed on spawn. And since we are creating the amount text uh, binding, let's drag in our item. And I don't want to display zeros uh, because for the empty items it is going to display zeros. So what uh, I want to do is check if this is bigger than zero. Let's do a if branch check. There we go. And if this is true, then we can go to this return node and we can connect the amount like so. But if this is false, then I'm going to duplicate the return node and I'm going to return an empty text like so. So if this is less than zero or zero, uh, it, it, it won't be less than zero, but if it's zero, it's going to return empty. And let's go back to the designer, select the next text again, create a new binding for the content drag in our item data in this case, break it and here we need to display the name. So let's connect the name. It converts it to a uh, from uh, to the text from the string and we need to do exactly the same thing for the last one except for selecting the name. I'm gonna display the description in here. So break this description. There we go. Now we are displaying the description. Now I believe this widget should be good enough for now and now what we need to do is actually display this. So let's go to the uh, UI player slots first. Let's click on the border and if you would scroll down until the behavior you might have to click on this uh, show advanced. Here is the tooltip widget and we can create a binding for this. So let's create a binding. Let's create a widget. So create a widget and this widget is our item uh, tooltip. Now let's connect the item data and let's get the amount from the item like so. Connect the amount and now we can pass along the return value to the return node like so. Now what I want to do is copy this thing because I want to do exactly the same thing with the item data which is gonna uh, be displayed in our uh, backpack. So let's go down again to the behavior create a new binding for the tooltip widget, paste exactly the same thing in and compile and save this. And since both of these widgets have the item data and the item variable, it's going to recognize those and it's going to work just fine. So now if we would press play, 
uh, press I, hover over an item, you can see it says empty, since we have an empty item from the database uh, posted in this location right here. Let's pick up some items. And you can see that now we have single pallets and four logs over here. Uh, if you followed my series exactly, uh, step, step, step by step like I did, you might have zeros in here. And that is because off screen, what I did after the previous video, what I noticed is that these pickups right here, all of them had amounts of zero. So make sure you give this some amount. In my case, I changed all of these to one. And to make life easier, what you can do is select the first pickup, scroll down, hold shift, select the last pickup, it's going to select all of them and here it's going to say multiple values but if the amounts are the same you can change these to what you want on all of the items so if i check this to before you can see that uh, whoops you can see that all of them are at value 4 so that's going to be it for this video it was qu quite quick and simple and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching stay tuned and see you guys in the next episode